Have you ever wondered if the languages spoken by millions across Africa are connected in some way? Imagine a web of words, phrases and sounds intricately woven together, spanning the vast expanse of the African continent. This is not a mere fantasy, it's a hypothesis that seeks to link the diversity of human communication under a single umbrella, the Nilo-Saharan languages. The question then becomes, could there be a common linguistic ancestry for these languages? Well that's exactly what the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis proposes. The Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis is a hypothesis that suggests a common ancestry for a number of languages spoken in Africa. Now let's delve into the fascinating world of language history. Picture this. Africa. A continent with a rich tapestry of languages, each with its own unique rhythm and melody. Among this cacophony of tongues there's a group of languages that, according to some linguists, share a common ancestor. This is what we call the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis. The hypothesis proposes that these languages have a shared ancestry. This is akin to suggesting that you and your cousin, despite your differences, can trace your lineage back to a shared set of grandparents. The hypothesis was first proposed by a British linguist named Joseph Greenberg in the mid-20th century. Among three other African language phylums he proposed, one of these was the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis. Greenberg suggested that a significant number of African languages including but not limited to Luo, Kanuri, Songhe, and Nubian, could be traced back to a single common ancestral language. This ancestor language he proposed, was spoken thousands of years ago by a group of people living in the area we now know as Sudan. The Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis is an exciting idea, offering a glimpse into the distant past and providing a framework for understanding the complex web of languages in Africa. However, it's important to remember that this is just a hypothesis, a proposed explanation based on limited evidence. Further, it's also important to note that not all linguists agree with Greenberg's hypothesis. Some argue that the similarities between these languages could just be a result of borrowing words and phrases from each other over the centuries, rather than indicating a common ancestry. But like any well-known linguistic hypothesis, the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis is not without controversy. While some linguists support the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis, others question its validity. Indeed, the world of linguistics is not without its share of controversies, and the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis is no exception. The main bone of contention lies in the lack of clear linguistic evidence. Critics argue that the hypothesis is too broad and vague, encompassing a wide range of languages with very different characteristics, making it difficult to establish a common thread. This hypothesis, which proposes that a group of languages spoken across Central and Eastern Africa are related, has been met with skepticism due to the sheer diversity of the languages in question. These languages, ranging from the Songhe languages of West Africa to the Nubian languages of Sudan, are so distinct from one another that their supposed common ancestry is often called into question. The critics argue that it's like trying to find a common thread between a butterfly and an elephant. Both are animals but the similarities pretty much end there. Another significant hurdle is the challenge of proving a common ancestry for such diverse languages. Linguistic research is a complex field, and tracing the roots of languages back through centuries, even millennia, is no simple task. Critics believe that the Nilo-Saharan languages are too diverse to have originated from a single common ancestor, and that their similarities are more likely due to contact and borrowing rather than a shared lineage. Moreover, the critics argue that even if there were some commonalities, these could be due to chance or convergence rather than shared ancestry. They point out that similar linguistic features can develop independently in different languages, a phenomenon known as parallel evolution. This, they say, could explain the supposed similarities between the Nilo-Saharan languages. Despite these challenges, the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis remains a compelling hypothesis for many. Its supporters believe that with more research and the application of advanced linguistic analysis techniques, it may one day be possible to prove this hypothesis and shed new light on the fascinating history of African languages. So, what evidence supports the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis? Well, it's quite intriguing. The hypothesis, as you might recall, proposes that a group of some 200 languages spoken across Central and East Africa, from Mali to Sudan, from Chad to Tanzania, all trace their roots back to the same linguistic tree. The evidence for this claim comes in several forms, but two key pieces of evidence stand out, shared grammatical structures and common vocabulary. First, let's talk grammar. 
While each of these languages certainly has its own unique quirks and complexities, there are striking similarities in their grammatical structures. Take for instance the feature of noun classes, a system of categorizing nouns that is common among many African languages. Several Nilo-Saharan languages have this feature, marking nouns based on characteristics like shape, size and other inherent properties. This shared grammatical feature suggests a possible common origin. Next, let's consider vocabulary. Linguists have identified a significant number of common words across these languages. These are not just simple, everyday words but also complex and abstract concepts. These are similarities and not just a coincidence which indicate a shared linguistic heritage. Moreover, sound correspondences also play a crucial role in this hypothesis. Linguists have found that certain sounds in one language often correspond to specific sounds in another. This kind of systematic sound correspondence is another strong indicator of a common linguistic ancestor. But remember, language evolution is a complex and multifaceted process, influenced by a myriad of factors, from migration and trade to conquest and isolation. While these pieces of evidence support the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis, they are just part of a much larger linguistic puzzle. This evidence suggests that despite their differences, these languages may indeed share a common ancestor. As we continue to decipher this linguistic enigma, who knows what other connections we might uncover? The Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis has far-reaching implications for our understanding of African history and culture. For starters, if we accept this hypothesis, it opens up a whole new perspective on the linguistic landscape of Africa. It suggests that there's a common thread weaving through the tapestry of languages spoken across the continent, a shared heritage that has been evolving and adapting over thousands of years. This commonality could potentially help us trace the migration paths of ancient peoples, shedding light on how diverse cultures and societies have interacted and influenced each other over the millennia. Beyond linguistics, this hypothesis also has implications for anthropology and archaeology. If these widely dispersed languages do indeed share a common root, it could mean that their speakers also share a common ancestry. This could help us piece together the prehistoric puzzle of human life in Africa giving us insight into the movements and interactions of ancient populations. Moreover, the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis could impact our understanding of cultural diffusion across Africa. If we look at the vast region where these languages are spoken today, it spans a multitude of different ecological zones, from the Sahara Desert to the lush rainforests of Central Africa. This implies that the speakers of these languages, and their cultures, have adapted to a wide range of environments over time. Understanding how they've done this could give us valuable insights into human resilience and adaptability. Finally, this hypothesis could influence our perspective on African identity. If it's true that such a diverse range of languages and cultures share a common root, it could reinforce the idea of a shared African identity, despite the continent's incredible diversity. It could help people see past the artificial borders drawn by colonial powers and recognize the deep interconnectedness of African peoples. So whether or not the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis is ultimately proven true, it continues to inspire fascinating research and discussion. In conclusion, the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis is a fascinating hypothesis with both supporters and detractors. It presents an intriguing proposition suggesting a common origin for a group of languages spread across the vast expanse of Africa, from the banks of the Nile to the Sahara's edges. The hypothesis, as we've seen, is not without controversy. Scholars have raised eyebrows at the idea, questioning the methodology and the evidence, and even the very existence of a Nilo-Saharan language family. Yet there are those who firmly believe in the hypothesis pointing to shared linguistic features and common cultural practices, as proof. We've delved into some of the evidence that supports this hypothesis. The linguistic similarities, the cultural exchanges and the historical migrations that could have facilitated the spread of a common language family. These pieces of evidence, while compelling, are not definitive and have only added fuel to the fiery debate. We've also explored the implications of this hypothesis, how it might reshape our understanding of African linguistic heritage, and the potential impact on sociocultural studies and historical research. It's a hypothesis that if proven could significantly influence our perception of Africa's linguistic map. The debate around the Nilo-Saharan languages hypothesis serves as a reminder of the rich diversity and complex history of African languages. 
If you enjoyed our exploration into this captivating topic, don't forget to give this video a like. Your support really helps our channel grow. To keep yourself updated with our latest videos and deepen your knowledge on such intriguing subjects, do subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss out on what's coming up next.